everyone, it's me again, Brittany, and I'm here today with a really cool video in my opinion. Obviously, I love October and I love Halloween, and I kind of tried to make almost every single video on my channel during Halloween in some way Halloween themed. So today I actually have my Fairy Loot unboxing and this is actually for the month of September but it came like a couple of days ago so obviously I'm opening it up in October. But to make it a little bit more spooky, a little bit more vibey with the Halloween theme, I'm also going to be hauling all of my Halloween stuff that I just bought from Michaels. I actually got requested to do a haul on all my Halloween decor that I splurged on at Michaels with their 50% off sale. And I decided that this would be the best way to do it. So I am gonna put a timestamp at the bottom in the description letting you know when my haul part begins if you guys are more interested in that or whatever it is but I am gonna be starting with the fairy loot unboxing because I'm really excited to see what's inside. Do you like my spooky my spooky look? I don't know if you can tell but like the eyeliner it's like smoked out with purple. I don't know purple is kind of like my thing this Halloween purple and black I like it. I'm really excited about this it might be pretty long but I just want to get all this out there in the open. Alright so let's open her up Oh my gosh, it's already spoopy. <laughs> All right, I was really hoping for this because I know that Owl Crate made their September box a little bit more Halloween themed and I was kind of hoping that Fairy Loot went along the same route. I couldn't remember though if they had or not, but the spoiler card is freaking adorable. I actually think I'm gonna hang it up. Oh no, it got bent. That's okay. And it's a little witch making her potions with her cute little glasses. I love it. It's actually so, so cute. And the theme for the month is witches be crazy. This video is just working out so well for me. I had totally forgotten that that was the theme. All right, so we're gonna put that down. Obviously, I don't really wanna look. I don't wanna get spoiled. I'm gonna stop saying that actually after this video. I'm not gonna say that anymore. You guys know I don't like being spoiled. Oh my God. Do you guys remember I said that my theme this month, like this Halloween is purple and black? Fairy Loot, you get me. I mean, they're always like purple and black. So let's grab this because I'm really, really, really freaking excited about them. I am a huge fan of fuzzy socks and these have a cute little witch's hat at the ankle and they're like ankle fuzzy socks. I don't know if it's focusing, but like look how freaking cute. Oh, they're so soft too, guys. Oh my gosh, we got a bath bomb. We got a cauldron bath bomb. I don't even want to open it because I know it'll probably be a little bit messy. It's not messy. Oh my god, that is so cute. It has a little... I love it. It's like filled to the brim with all the good bath stuff. And obviously you could drop it like all in, probably like drop it in with a cauldron and it'll bubble up. It smells fantastic, super fresh. It has a very nice fresh smell, which is cool because I feel like... Even though fall scents are very cinnamon, I feel like Halloween itself shouldn't be a cinnamon smell. I don't know if that, that might just be me, but I love it. I'm gonna keep it in its little box because the box is adorable. So it's made by Little Heart Gifts, which is adorable. And then the fluffy witch socks were actually brought to us by Fairy Loot. Okay, some of my bath bomb dust got on it, but that's okay. Oh, it's a tote. Oh wow, oh my gosh, it has like crystals on it and skulls and candles and potions and a moth and the moon and it has like the little Ouija like goodbye thing. Oh my god, it's such a good material too. I am going to use this. I'm going on a trip with my boyfriend next weekend. I'm taking this with me. I don't know what I want to put in it yet. I'm taking it with me because this is perfect. It's so spoopy. I love it. Wow, that looks so good. It's probably made by Fairy Loot, honestly. Oh my gosh, it was made by Band of Weirdos. That's awesome. This is already going so well. I don't even know. Oh, we got like little post-its. Oh my gosh, it has Luna's, like Luna Lovegood's little glasses, not my cat, you know. Well, my cat was named after Luna Lovegood, but still. So the original, the OG Luna Lovegood, her glasses, and then it says you're just as sane as I am. I actually love having little, um, notepads everywhere. I think that what I'm gonna do with this one, because it's really tiny and cute, I'm gonna put a magnet on the back and actually stick it onto my fridge for like any notes that I might need while well, I'm just like standing around in my kitchen or something. I don't know, because I like having a notepad on my fridge and I haven't had one in a long time. So guys, an enamel pin and I'm obsessed. It's a Starbucks cup and then the little logo instead of being like the mermaid that Starbucks uses is a little witch and it says not your basic witch which is a little play on the whole like you know the basic b-word 
that, you know, people love to call girls that drink a lot of Starbucks. So. Not your basic witch. I'm absolutely obsessed with this. It's so adorable. So Halloween-y. I forgot that they were making this box like entirely witch themed. It wasn't going to be based on books and I'm even more here for it. Like I'd completely forgotten that before I opened it up. We got some cards, a deck of playing cards and they're witch playing cards. Okay. <gasps> they're like silver. Oh my goodness. I've never had like fancy edged playing cards. <gasps> These are so fancy. Look at the spades. Oh, oh, oh my, it's T'Challa. <laughs> okay, it's not because this one has green eyes, but it's almost T'Challa. It's a little black cat for the Joker, a cute little witch for Queen, and a cute little wizard for King. Oh my gosh, and the hearts. <gasps> oh my gosh, and they're different. Okay, so the Joker, wait, who are these people? Are, are these specific people? They might be. I don't want to talk about how I didn't know who they were. I don't want to talk about it because the second I saw that one, I know exactly who these are based off of. That's Manon! Oh my gosh, we have witches on here. Is that Dorian? I think it is. I don't know who they are though. Who are these people? I know that was Manon though. Am I a fake fan or are these like different people on each of the decks? Oh my gosh, I got spoiled for something and I'm really excited about it. Okay, it says, ooh! shiny that was literally me when I saw it okay are you truly a witch without some type of card deck this stunning deck of cards features exclusive artwork of some of the most known and celebrated witches and wizards you can spot illustrations based on charmed and Sabrina it was Salem that was who it was not T'Challa it's Salem okay done by the talented obsidian as well as the throne of glass series by Sarah J Mass and our featured get book which we'll get to in a moment okay cool and the latter two are drawn by at Crooked You. Ooh, okay. I'm really, really, really into these cards. They're super cool, very high quality. I have liked every single item in this box so far. That is so rare. That is so, so rare. Our new tarot deck. Is this? <gasps> is this Juliet and Warner <laughs> from the Shatter Me series? Because that definitely looks like the kind of suit that Juliet has to wear in the beginning. And Warner is, you know, that basic blonde boy that wears suits. These are so stunning. It looks like it's the same artist that did the Harry Potter tarot cards. So still being done by at loiana.art and it is based on the Shatter Me series by Tahada Mafi. It's definitely Juliet and Warner. I know that like there's been some, I don't know, like tea of people not liking the new part of the Shatter Me series, but the original Shatter Me trilogy was such an iconic part of like my 2015 era. There is one more thing in here, and this is what I got spoiled for, and I'm really excited about it. You guys know I love my reusable straws. And we got some metal ones. Wait, I think there might be a cleaner in here, which is nice because gotta keep your straws clean. I love that, okay. And there's like a card at the bottom, but it won't wiggle out, so. They are like splattered metal straws, so it's like black with a white splattering, paint splattering and white with a black paint splattering and I absolutely love these. I like that it comes with a little bag because I've been needing like to-go straws because even though I love my silicone straws and I use them all the time at home, I don't have anywhere to store them so that I can take them on the go with me and then I end up having to just use plastic straws. But these are going to be perfect to like keep in the car with me. I'm really excited about that. So let's get into the book. She a little dusty from the bath bomb, but I mean that happens and the bath bomb's really cute so we're not gonna judge. Oh, I just saw the sprayed edges. Oh, they're stunning, they're stunning. Okay, wait, um, let's grab all the like stuff out first. So we have the little bookmark that matches the spoiler card and then we have the fairy scoop which we'll go over at the end. And we have the little art print, the little character print of our two main characters. They look really pretty together. And the letter from the author. So let's put that down. I honestly have no idea what this book is. <gasps> Wait, I actually just remember that someone spoiled me for this. <laughs> so I know exactly what book this is gonna be. That's a bummer. Someone in my last Fairy Loop video, <laughs> it wasn't their fault. It just like comes up differently in the email. So they where like I know who what the book is and they put a lot of spaces so like you would have had to open the read more area to see what the book was but in my email when I get the comments it doesn't pop up like that it pops up like back to back so they kind of spoiled me but it's okay it's okay it's okay so maybe they were wrong maybe it's not that book maybe 
it is okay look at these sprayed freaking edges <gasps> they're like glimmery copper oh they are so so sexy oh my goodness oh my goodness and it's signed by the author and this is serpent and dove by shelby Mahurin. i've been hearing so so many things about this all over like everything all the platforms so many people got arcs of this so many people were absolutely obsessed with this all i really know about it is that a witch and a witch hunter have to get married let's let's read the description and let's just make sure oh my gosh guys <gasps> guys fairy loo you went above and beyond can we talk about this <gasps> dust jacket cover dust jacket art oh my goodness i'm absolutely obsessed look how good that looks this video is gonna be so long. I'm sorry. Bound as one to love, honor, or burn. Two years ago, Louise LeBlanc fled her coven and took shelter in the city of Cesarine, forsaking all magic and living off whatever she could steal. There, witches like Lou are hunted, they are feared, and they are burned. Sworn to the church as a chaucer, Reed Diggory has lived his life by one principle. Thou shalt not suffer a witch to live. His path was never meant to cross with Lou's, but a wicked stunt forces them into an impossible union. Holy matrimony. The war between witches and church is an ancient one, and Lou's most dangerous enemies bring a fate worse than fire. Unable to ignore her growing feelings, yet powerless to change what she is, a choice must be made. And love makes fools of all of us. I'm excited. Okay, it definitely sounds hate to love. I love forbidden romances. They're like one of my favorite kind of tropes. I'm so, so happy. So thank you so much to Fairy Loop for sending me this box. Let's go over the fairy scoop really quick to see what next month's gonna be about. And then we can go over my haul. We have our interview with the author right there. And then we have the read along that they're doing for Serpent and Dove. It's going to be running for five consecutive days starting on October 14th. Ooh, that's right when I get back from my trip. It'll be with G, which is really cool. I like that they still made it kind of Halloween themed. So for October, their theme is gonna be Love at First Bite. Vampires, we're into it. It says it's gonna be perfect for autumn and Halloween, uh, and they've never curated a box like this before. And they're very excited about all the vampire inspired goodies. Oh, that's gonna be fun. Most of the items are gonna be fandom neutral, but we can expect items inspired by Dracula and Interview with a Vampire. And there's gonna be a candle by the Melting Library. And the featured book of the month is gonna be a romantic, seductive murder mystery set in the 19th century new orleans i think i know what the book is the addition that they're including will have artwork on the reverse of the dust jacket sprayed edges and it will be signed okay definitely check that out guys if you're really into vampires i know i love vampires i've been kind of waiting for vampires to make a comeback and i'm hoping that right now is that moment so i'm really really excited about that if you guys want to subscribe to your own box i always leave the code down below with my discount code i don't get anything for it it's just kind of like a extra discount for you guys if you haven't ordered the box before so i will leave that down below with all that information Thank you again to Fairy Loop for sending me this box. I'm absolutely obsessed with all the items. I think that my favorite, I think that it's either the enamel pin or the fuzzy socks. Like, are we surprised? No. Let's actually get into my haul now. So I went to Michael's today with barely any plans. I was like, I really haven't found any Halloween decorations for this year. I might just have to stick to all the things that I got last year and that'll be that. And I was kind of upset about it because I really wanted to add more purple and black decor into my Halloween vibes. And I wanted to spread it out to be more than just my bookshelves. Like I wanted like artwork on the walls and things like that, but I wasn't really finding anything at first, but I definitely wanted to keep hunting because Michaels is having their 50% off all their Halloween decor stuff right now. And I was like, this is the moment. So I accidentally wandered into a different aisle that had exactly what I needed. And I went a little crazy. I know this is excessive guys. Like don't judge me, please. I mean, you can judge me. Just be nice about it. I guess I went crazy. I definitely did. I've been so excited for Halloween all year. And I kind of justified a lot of these purchases because I was like, you know, I can leave it on for more of the year than just Halloween. And I can figure out a way to work with this. So Let's get into it. So the first stuff that I want to maybe talk about are going to be these pillows that I got because I'm really excited about it. The first one that I got is this trick or treat pillow. It's just a really simple, like kind of wider pillow and it has little bats on it. It's very cutesy. Um, I think it's gonna look really good downstairs or even in my reading chair. I think that actually 
that might be where I leave it. I just love it. I like getting throw pillows. I really don't have that many, so I justified it. But these next two pillows that I'm going to show you, I'm so excited about. I can use them kind of all year round, but my plan for this, because I, again, don't have any throw pillows, and I have so many bookish pillow covers that I can't use because I don't have any throw pillows, and I'm going to use these pillows as the inside cushion cover for all those cutesy bookish ones that I've been wanting to display for forever when it's not Halloween time. But in the meantime, look how cool this is. It says the Curiosity Shop, rare objects and oddities, all things strange and exotic. It has like a crow, a skull, a candelabra, and like all these really cool, like creepy, creepy vibes. I absolutely love it. I think it's gonna look so, so good. Again, I really wanted to make my Halloween theme less like spoopy, like pumpkin stuff and more like cool witchy-ish vibes, if that makes sense. So this is in no way meant to offend anyone, but I just really like the vibe, so I'm sorry. The next pillow that I got, and the last pillow that I got, because these pillows were still $15 after the 50% off, so last pillow I got, is gonna be this really, really, really cool one. It is like a palmistry style pillow, and all the lines and like what they are on your hand for palmistry, and it has like things that I don't 100% understand on it, but I just thought it looked really, really cool. It's gonna be perfect for Halloween. This one could actually be used like more than just Halloween, but I still have the option of covering it with a different pillow cover if I want to. So let's jump in to some of the more breakable items. <laughs> so the first thing that we have here is this really, really sick skull. It is just like a skull. I don't know how to show you this there, but <laughs> it's a skull with a little cork at the top. It's really heavy, very nice. I definitely could fill it up with like something, but I don't think I will. I'll just probably leave it like this, maybe put some spooky little flowers sticking out of it, but mostly I just wanted it for decoration. Then I got this really, really cool um, potion style bottle, and it says Raven's Brew for a long-lasting deep sleep, and it has a little cork of a raven at the top. So I'm really into this. This is definitely gonna make some good decoration, even for just like my bookshelf. And I got a couple of these like little uh, jars, and this one's for spider venom. And I also got one for Bone Dust, and I think this one looks really, really cool. So I'm really excited. Again, these are probably going to make really good bookshelf decoration things, or just in general, like, table space kind of decorations. Speaking of tabletop decorations, I actually got a ton of these really cute little, like, sign kind of boxes. You'll see what I'm talking about in a moment. So it started with this one that says Happy Halloween, and it has a cute little black cat on it. This one still has that orange look that I'm kind of, like, trying to stay away from this Halloween. I really wanted more of a purple vibe, but I couldn't pass it up because the little black cat, you know. Then I found this one, which I just thought was really funny. I couldn't put it down after I saw it, and it says quit your witchin'. So I'm really into this. This is definitely gonna go downstairs though, not like up here. Then I found these really, really cool ones. These ones are actually like what I wanted to. This is when I first found all the purpley stuff that I was like, Yes. The first one says Psychic Fortunes on it. Then the next one says Sun, Moon, and Stars. And this one I definitely can have up more than just at this time of the year. But the last one that I found that I absolutely adored is this one. And it's a fortune style tarot card almost display with a really cool death moth on it. I am obsessed with it actually and it says fortune favors the brave obviously and it's just really really cool and spooky and just eerie and that is exactly what I was looking for for my decorations this year. So the next thing I got was this. I definitely wanted something that has a little bit more levels to it and it says when witches go riding and black cats are seen the moon laughs and whispers tis near Halloween double double toil and trouble fire burn and cauldron bubble and it's really like heavy and nice and this I kind of want to have out on my shelves but if it doesn't fit it doesn't fit so we'll see where I end up putting it you know I got this really cool skeleton he's honestly kind of an impulse buy because I saw him and he was reading on a stack of books and I was like that's gonna be how I die like I'm gonna be reading and someone one day is gonna find my skeleton of me still holding open my book while sitting on my books reading even in death and that's why I got him. I didn't get him for any other reason. I didn't even like him that much but I was like I feel that vibe. So he's going on the bookshelf for sure or in the book room for sure because he needs to. I might even keep him all year round because I'm sure you guys can relate. <laughs> so I just thought he was really really cool and his book even says something in it. It says psychic fortunes. 
Is this my fortune? Is this me seeing into my own future? We're gonna set him right here. We should name him, right? Okay, what's his name? It's definitely a boy. I've decided he's a boy. I don't know why, but he's a boy. I'm gonna name him... What's your name? Hmm... We're gonna go with, um... Eddie? And his full name is gonna be Edgar? As in, named after Edgar Allan Poe? But, he's had a happier life, so we're gonna... He goes by Eddie. He's just... He's... Yeah, I don't know. That was weird. I'm sorry. His name's Eddie. I was kind of nearing the end. I mostly just try to get like bigger pieces this year. I didn't want a lot of knickknacks. I have a lot of knickknacks. So I got this really cool platter. And this was kind of something that I was thinking about putting down because I don't really have table space. Again, I really don't. But I think that if I can drill a hole through it or like ask my dad to drill a hole through it because he has the tools for it, I could hang it up and I think it would look really cool hung up. Yeah, that's why we got him. And now we're getting to my hanging up kind of stuff, which I'm excited about. So first we have this really cool purple plaque and it says sees all, knows all for the all seeing eye and it's purple. It's just this is the vibe I wanted, guys. Like, I was so excited when I ran into the aisle that has, like, a lot of very fortune telly kind of stuff because that is exactly the thing that I was kind of going for. And I got this other amazing, amazing plaque, and it says fortune teller on it. It has, again, that palm with all the lines and what they are, and then it says palmistry at the bottom. I'm really excited about this. I think it just looks so good. I'm happy. I'm really happy. I don't know. I feel like a goofball right now, but I'm just, like, so excited about everything that I got. I think that... It was exactly what I wanted. Then I got this really cool uh, picture that says Mad Laboratories, 100% pure, unprocessed, authentic ingredients, and it has a creepy skeleton on it, uh, or a skeleton in the background, and then a skull just in the forefront. I think this is the coolest thing I got so far. It's not the coolest. Everything's really cool. I am having a hard time. This is actually so beautiful. This is the last thing that I got, I'm pretty sure. And it is amazing. It's really big. It's so stunning and it just looks like high quality almost. I honestly would probably keep this on all year round because it just looks really cool. And it's this almost metallic finish uh, wooden print and it says good fortune be with you always and it has just... It has, it's so cool and it's purpley like the uh, pentagram I believe that's what it is correct me if I'm wrong please, um, in the background and it looks just like the Ouroboros of the snake eating its own tail. It's just really cool. Like this, this is it. Like this is it. This is my vibe this Halloween. And I definitely think I want to keep this up just all year round. I think it looks really, really amazing and it's just... I don't know. It's cool. I like, I like that kind of stuff. Yeah, that's it, I'm pretty sure, for all my Halloween decor kind of things. I'm definitely going to be making an entire video decorating, like, my house and my book room for Halloween, so stay tuned for that. I'm excited about it. I think it's going to go so well, and I'm excited about all the stuff that I got with it, too. So thank you guys for staying tuned for this probably super long video, and again, I got all this stuff at Michael's. They're having a blowout sale right now, so I don't know how much, like, your local one might have, or if the online store has any of this stuff anymore but a lot of you guys wanted to see what I got anyways and so here it is here's my <laughs> excessive haul but one that I'm still really 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 happy with and that's really all that matters as long as you're happy <laughs> and as long as it didn't break the bank which like luckily right now it didn't because yesterday was payday thank you guys again so so much for watching I hope that you're having a spooky Halloween and let me know actually any TV shows or movies that you recommend right now that are either on Netflix or Hulu or Amazon Prime because I really want to get even more into the spirit so please leave that down below and I will see you in my next video goodbye Ah, this is also cool. <laughs>